Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and today is time for some good news as we finally got the pre order date confirmed for Kill Team Octarius. It's so exciting to have the pre order date revealed today for the Kill Team Octarius box set, but there's also a load of other good stuff that's going to be available to pre order at the same time. So, in this video, we'll go through the box set show you everything that's included in that and then we'll look at those individual items that you can pre-order if the box set isn't for you. Okay so here we go the date for pre-order is going to be the 14th of August and then it's going to run for two weeks so we're going to have to wait until the 28th of August until we actually get the game delivered to us or until we can collect it from our local game store. I'll definitely be ordering mine from a local game store, but I'll also put some links in the description below where you can get yours from some online retailers that I also use, which is Element Games and Wayland Games. So if your store doesn't have them in stock or you haven't got a store near you, then you can order them online and save up to 20% as well. But I'll be getting mine from the local game store because I'm lucky enough to have one and I want to support them. Um, it works both ways. We, we support the local game stores and then it's also easy for us to get our paints and our sprays and things like that too. Okay, let's take a look exactly what's going to be available for pre-order and it starts with the Kill Team Octarius box set and this just looks fantastic. It's going to come with 23 brand new Citadel miniatures that we haven't seen before, a battlefield full of this orcish terrain, we're going to get 144 page rulebook, a 96 page campaign manual, dice, tokens, barricades, cards, combat gauges and everything we need to run our spec ops engagements in the 41st millennium. So this is packed with some great stuff and it just looks awesome. This terrain is fantastic and it really covers that board, um, I mean completely, it's just completely covered in awesome orc terrain. So a really great looking set and it's going to come with everything we need included. So this is going to be a launch box, there's not going to be a ton of them made. They did say in the first online preview that they've made a lot of them like they did with the Dominion box set for Age of Sigmar. But I'm sure this is going to be a load more popular and so if you want to get it I would certainly say get to your local game store, reserve yourself a copy um, and you know, unless you want to get caught up on that whole line online thing. The Dominion release was really great, the queue system worked nicely. But um, yeah, I think this is going to be super popular. So definitely recommend local stores, reserve yourself a copy and try and use those online retailers as well because you get a discount and you save some money. Also, it doesn't look like you're going to get any perks by ordering it with Games Workshop directly on their website. So rather than paying the RRP, which we think is going to be £125, then I would say certainly look for those discounts for sure. Now, if the box set isn't for you, you can buy the core book and the compendium separately. It doesn't say anything about that mission book separately, but you can certainly get the core book and the compendium. And the Kill Team core book is going to come with that 144 page containing all the rules you need and some missions to enjoy Kill Team in three forms. And that's open play, match play and narrative play. So that's all going to be taken care of. And then in the compendium, you're going to get the updated rules for 19 factions. And so this is going to be an accompaniment to those core rules and in this compendium book there's going to be data sheets for 55 fire teams and 187 types of operatives for nearly every faction in the 41st millennium as well as unique strategic and tactical ploys and faction specific equipment. So this is a really nice option if you've already got lots of miniatures, lots of terrain, and you just want to get the rule books and that compendium, then you could just pick those up and then get stuck in and play the game, no problem. Um, but you are going to miss out on that 96 page campaign manual that comes in the core book. It doesn't look like we can get that separately, or at least we can't buy it separately. So maybe there's some other options later on to get hold of that. We'll wait and see. But I think these are two great books, and I'll certainly be picking up the compendium to go alongside the box set. You're also going to be able to pick up the Tac Ops cards separately and with these you get two identical decks of 27 cards, one for each player and these are going to cover all 24 of the secondary objectives listed in the core book as well as three cards you can use to hide your choices. So again you can just get this card pack, you don't have to get the box set if you don't want to. And if you like the look of the gauges and the tokens you can get this Kill Zone Essentials pack 
which is going to give you all the accessories you need. And so if you get the core book in this, you pretty much got everything you need for this new system. Um, this is going to come with all those combat gauges. You're going to get three in total, 84 tokens and six barricades as well. So nice little pack there if you want to get those. But it, remember, we can still use a measuring tape. That's no problem. But if you like the idea of the gauges, I certainly do. I think it's going to be good for filming. It's going to be really quick. Um, then you can get those if you want to. I love getting themed dice, so I was really happy to see these dice sets that are going to be available as well. Um, you're going to get them in black and orange, and you're going to get four sets of 20 faction-specific dice in this kind of orange and black kill team theme. And these dice are available for the Death Corps of Krieg, Orc Commandos, Adeptus Astartes, and the Forces of Chaos. All D6 dice. Looks like we're going to get 20 per pack, and um, I guess we could use these for Warhammer 40k as well, no problem. Yeah, it does say that actually in the article that we can use them for Warhammer 40k. So there we go. I wouldn't say they're the best dice I've ever seen. Warcry dice I really like, fantastic. The Underworld's dice I'm really into. But I think these having set of 20 D6 dice each this kind of sets the idea that we're going to be rolling a lot of dice in this game. So this is awesome. Um, I'll probably be getting some of these. I don't think I'll get them all. Maybe just get the Death Corps of Krieg and the Orc Commandos. We'll wait and see. Uh, but yeah, so there we go. We've got four different dice sets to choose from and potentially more coming later on. And if you're into the books, you're also going to get three books released as well. So there's some more books to pre-order next week if you're into that. But let's get back to the Kill Team Octaris because that's what I want to talk about here. And I'd love to know what you think. Will you be getting the box set or are you going to just stick to the books and the compendium? Maybe just get some dice. Um, maybe nothing at all. So let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think and what you'll be picking up for your game. So with pre-order on the 14th of August and then the delivery or collection date, the 28th of August, we haven't got long to wait now. The price isn't still revealed, certainly for the box set. Still stick into that 125 prediction and I'm no idea how much all these separate items will be. Dice packs are usually, what, 16, 20 pounds? So we'll wait to see on that. Um, but lots to look forward to and can't wait to get this on the 28th of August. And in the meantime, I guess we're going to start seeing some um, reviews, unboxings, things like that from some of the channels that get sent the box early on. So I'll be looking towards uh, Gorilla Miniature Gaming to see what Ash is up to because he gets them painted and built so fast and does some really amazing battle reports. So really looking forward to checking out his channel and can highly recommend to you to do the same. In the meantime, if you want to catch up with all the new rules for Kill Team Octaris, then I've done videos for every single update that's come from the Warhammer community site, right up from the ranged combat up to how we can use the artillery for the Krieg. And I've also done a video where we can compare Kill Team with Warcry based on what we know so far. So lots to watch on the channel already while we wait for this release date. But as soon as the 28 comes, I'll be collecting this first thing in the morning, getting it unboxed, getting it built, painted as quick as I can. And then we'll start on the rules and going through some different videos, doing some deep dives into all the factions. It's going to be great fun. So really excited for this. Hope you are too. And it looks like once we get this built, we've got a good month in September, loads of gameplay and lots to get done. So for now, thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. If you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page. And thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share ideas and help each other out. And you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description. And it'll be great to see you there.